Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm Episode 2. So, last time we got expelled. <laughs> um, um, I made the ultimate decision to take the blame for Rachel. Um, not because of Rachel, more because Chloe was going to get expelled anyway. So, we might as well just go down swinging and not, you know, not affect Rachel. Um, you know... I'm not, I'm not going to pretend like I'm not bothered about Rachel at the moment. Maybe that'll change, but um, I've just been trying to placate Joyce and, and David. We we agreed to, to maybe meet with Elliot um, after the play, possibly. Um, guy seems all right. Maybe I'm wrong about him. Um, and Chloe, after finding out David was going to move in with them, she's... Uh, gone off and I don't want to call it a strop she's just upset so uh, we'll see how things develop now let's go how do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down where is she on the top of a building oh no she's at the junkyard Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Test for engineering skills. Ugh. I sense a fetch quest incoming. So we need a what a battery. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. Oh. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Why? <laughs> oh. Um, Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets, but then you had weird, didn't you? Because it's awesome. I just don't know what to do anymore. It rhymes with cleave flavoured. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, alright? Maybe I need my daughter back. Really upsets me dealing with Joyce, man. Right, we've got another one page to catch up in our diary. Max, you ever hated someone's guts but then later felt bad because you found out they're actually cooler than you thought? Yeah, me neither. David got inside his douche David's got it inside his douchebag skull that he needs to start cracking down on me, which meant demanding I empty my pockets for him in the Blackwell parking lot. I went along with it just so I could wave my bag of herb in his stupid moustached face. I guess it backfired because now David is moving into my old house. I say old house because if he's there, I sure as shit I'm not. Oh, I also bumped into Elliot. He's super into me still. Everyone wants a piece of price. Chloe, the bane of fascists. Oh, 
don't know why it became so in vogue to call everyone fascists. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm all smashed out. For now. No, not going over there. Where's this wire going to? Yes, thank you, I know. <laughs> Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Suppose so. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. Uh, you'll miss it at some You're point. You're a long way from the beach. Well, actually, no, you won't. I don't think I have. I, I... I've never thought, oh, I'd wish I'd go back to high school. Maybe I'd wish I could go back to university, but not, not to high school. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. <laughs> this thing looks somewhat Yeah, it new. does, yeah. Maybe the battery still works? What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Well, don't make me go and find something else. Seriously. Oh, thank you. <laughs> In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. <laughs> She's left school for about half an hour and she's already making we go. old the person style jokes there. booyah right let's just have a quick look around for anything else of interest I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school I guess those days are now officially over This mat has seen some things. Mostly feet. Good one. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's go. Need some gas, uh, pet, uh, fuel next, right? Was Chloe's truck blue in the uh, first game? more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. There were, th there were paint cans, weren't there? 
Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, that's three things, right? Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. More fetch quests, right? Let's see what Rachel's saying. Um, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Chloe Price, I don't suck. You really, really don't. My mum thinks I do. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there. Grabbing something from home, then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. Right. What else can we find? It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Did it have a bulb on the top? A light bulb? Light the way, Robo Bulb. Don't know if we're going to find like a clean cover or something. <laughs> Pretty sure this isn't what Rachel meant when she talked about going to LA to be a model. Then again, it's probably not what this person meant either. I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. You're a long way from the country club, guy. Four. Er, something. You put this on the floor, right? Okay, two down. This is our little secret den, isn't it? Or will be. And up next, a local band called Pisshead is blowing mines and speakers throughout the bay. Here's their new single. <laughs> yes, get in there, Skip. Pirate flag. Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Sorry for glancing to the side. I put up the. I tried to increase my capture quality because this wasn't occupying my CPU too badly. But it's getting pretty high on the CPU percentage. That should be fine. Alright. Where is our new ride? I've just walked past it. Alright. Okay. So let's get the light bulb in. Blue light bulb. So I fix the floor. <laughs> now it's just a trap. <laughs> you just gotta put your foot on it and get it stuck un unsuspectingly. <gasps> and the conveniently th pirate themed flag. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. It probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah, 
Bryce, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? Uh -oh. No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? Is everything all right? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general, or to you? I'll see you soon. So I know that someone's after money from the bit at the end of the last episode. It's going to be evil bald guy number 72. Angry that we stole his. It was only something like two hundred dollars. I mean, it's pretty small for Time eyes. for a hard-earned smoke break. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Mystical. <laughs> the eye sees all. Tell me if we're ever really getting out of Arcadia Bay, all seeing eye. It's looking good, Robobulb. Drain the battery, though, right? Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done with In my own time I'm trying to reach out I know I'll get there soon There's a hole Still burning. The edges. You were flaunting all your open wounds. I can't express them better than you. You have buried childish qualities from me. Fall asleep with a cigarette. Have you not seen the jacket? The film, the jacket. Is she dreaming again? Yeah. Shit. I slept all day. What the hell? And that again. <coughs> William even. Quoth the raven. Dad? I wonder if it burned like this the day 
the day it happened. Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Do I even like marshmallows? I miss him so much. Dad, what are we doing here? Uh, are you trying to tell me something? Dad? Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized, too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? <laughs> of getting burned. <sighs> Yeah, his voice acts is different as well, isn't it? Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you going to invite me in, or what? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if I promise you free candy? Hop in. No, she's serious. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? 
A cool blue light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. I hope. <laughs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. That was my thinking. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Us? Yeah. It was you. Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. This kind of reeks of uh, Rachel just, you know, it's just privileged girl acting out while really, you know, I don't know. I'm not really on the fence with her. What's, what's, uh, what's really on her mind? David's probably the most, the thing that's probably on her mind. The fire's on my mind, we just burned out a forest. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Okay, so Perhaps it's... Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, Needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That... makes sense. Okay guys, just hold on one second. The, 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 the this new voice actor for... for William yeah, I, I thought I recognised it, but I don't want to be so way off, so I'm just going to Google it and then come back. Hang on. All right, I was completely wrong. I'm not even going to say who I thought it was because it's just embarrassing at this point. But I have a thing for trying to... Because, you know, a lot of these voice actors circuits go around the various games, so I like trying to identify them. <laughs> but I was wrong. Very wrong on that one. All right, David. There's this dildo with a moustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right, you're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Huh. 
It's weird that they keep going on about David, just because if, if you've played the first game, you know that he's not necessarily the bad guy. He's just a bit sort of blunt in his approach, but he's got good intentions. We kind of know that already. In that whole bit in the bathroom in the first game, she calls him step ass, right? Or is it step Fiora? Let's just go step douche. He's a uh, step douche because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. <laughs> May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. Hey man, I bet if we made a joke about um, the the chick that her dad was was sleeping with, then she's not going to respond so well to it. God, she, this chick's so full of herself, man. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. Maybe she should burn I down a forest. I got my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Ugh. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh. I don't know. Self-centered. Can we talk about something else? Of course. The truck. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. <coughs> That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Oh, God. All right, uh, you're not like him. You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Oh, we got a choice. Poor Elliot. <laughs> Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Oh. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe.
I'm, I'm still not on board with her, man. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Yeah, I'm sort of because it feels like she's not being interested in Chloe because she's interested in Chloe, like the, like other than at the concert, so at the gig, yeah. But then when they went up to the park and she saw her dad, she just. My junk fortress of solitude. Yeah, like she, uh, she was just using Chloe to get there to to see her dad, and now she's given us this stuff, which feels like she's just doing out of guilt because Chloe got expelled. So. Um, ah, I heard you got expelled. Sorry. Yeah, I rolled rolled a one against Wells. Get it. Steph says you're a nerd. <laughs> oh, let's get this dartboard up. Uh, what did you hang that on? Okay. Tapestry. Yeah, I'm not saying that I out and out don't like Rachel. I'm just saying I'm on the fence. Okay. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. All right. Let's make a house a home. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna have to. Uh... Oh no! Wait a minute. Let's uh, let's have a look in the bag and see what happens. Now well, we're gonna finally get out of this T-shirt. Yes, I need those. Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Okay, these are bonus outfits. These are what I got with the deluxe edition. Illuminati, what's... They're all just t-shirts. I'd like one that's got a jacket. Okay, no, no vest. No, thank you. We're just dressed like the guy we hit with the bottle now. No, change. I don't want to have anything to do with Square Enix, thanks. Oh, Rorschach. Nice psychiatric reference. Oh, it's just a black... Oh, okay, I like it with the sleeves. Yeah, I'm down for that. Frank. I'm at the junkyard now. Alright guys, I think I'll leave that one there. Uh, we'll meet Frank next time. 
Um, uh, we'll meet up with Frank next time. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, Chloe's sort of trying to fix the car. We've bonded with Rachel a bit more. I still think she seems like a uh, a bit like uh, you know privileged privileged girl Frank's acting out, fine. but. I... So um, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. And uh, yeah, just remember, never trust an on crate. Right, I'll see you next time.